Okay, rectangular coordinates. You've probably seen this before. Uh-oh. The pen is dying. Oh, came back to life. There we go. Have some numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, six, seven, eight. First, you can see we have four pieces to that rectangular coordinates. We call them quadrants. So this is quadrant one. Maybe I'll label it. Quadrant one. One is I. You don't write the number one. This is quadrant two. Two. This is quadrant three. And the last one is quadrant what? Four and four is IV. Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. You'll see when you're doing the homework, they're gonna say, where's that point, which quadrant? So you need to know which quadrant. X is positive to the right of this line. X is negative to the left of the y-axis. So x is positive in one and four. When I, x positive, x positive. X is negative to the left here, x is negative. The y value, y is positive above the x-axis, y is negative down. So y is positive here, y is positive here, y is negative here, y is negative here. This point, the center is called the origin. I just don't wanna to put too much gibberish stuff all over it. Again, most of us seen this before. We know what it looks like. Anyone never seen it before? Good, because if you've never seen it, we need to talk to your high school and see what the hell were they doing there. So if you want to locate a point, if you need to locate a point, you have to give it the x and the y value. If I say, can you tell me what is three comma two is? Where is that point? You start from the origin, you go how many steps? One, two, three to the right, and two up, right here. That point three comma two. If you wanna locate the point zero comma five, where is zero comma five? You start from here, you don't move in the x direction. Zero units in the x direction, but five in the y. Let's go up five. One, two, three, four, five. Minus three comma one. That's in neither. It's not in quadrant one or two. It's on the line. It's a neighbor. Negative three comma one. There's negative three and one right here. That's obviously in quadrant two. We can see that. 
But if it's on this line or that line, it's in neither quadrant. It's on the line. Negative six and zero. That's this point. Negative one, negative two. That's down here. I think you get the idea. We've seen it before. But we call this the rectangular coordinates. Some people call it the Cartesian coordinates. So don't be surprised if you hear the Cartesian coordinates. So we're going to use that to graph. 